this is the uh, Big Geordie Geek, uh, Michael. I'm here to get my head and beard uh, shaved for Macmillan uh, Cancer Support's Braid the Shave. Uh, I haven't done anything with this hair or beard for three months in preparation, um, so there's going to be lots of it to come off. Unfortunately, it's not long enough to donate to wig making charities for kids because my hair doesn't grow that long, but this is the longest I have ever had my hair or beard. Um, Today we're being filmed by the lovely Megan, who will not be seen on this video because she's very shy. And Lindsay, my wife, who's going to say hello. I won't speak, except I am. <laughs> I've ruined it already, well done. I haven't ruined it, and I would be expecting you to speak. What, do you expect me to sit here in silence for the whole time? That's not entertaining or fun. <laughs> Yeah, so Lindsay will be uh, sh uh, shaving my head. Um, she's not the brightest. I apologise in advance. Oh. She's naturally blonde. I hope she is, remember, darling. <laughs> this is a good point. She's the one shaver, you be careful. <laughs> do you like your eyebrows? I do like my eyebrows. We're not shaving my eyebrows. No shaving the eyebrows, right? No shaving of the eyebrows. Not again. <laughs> Last time I did something like this, Lindsay was in India. She called me up at like three in the morning, utterly drunk on champagne cocktails from Mumbai, uh, Bombay, for those uh, who, who, who are a bit older, and she's, and she's like, you look like an egg! This isn't the embarrassed Lindsay moment, you know. This is the let's shave your head moment. So this is true. So I'm going to take off the glasses, because they get in the way, and yeah, there we go. Thank you. And I, I don't, I'm going to have a, just stubble for a while. I haven't done stubble for years. But I'm not, when was the last time I had not a beard? Yeah, probably like seven years ago when we got married or something. Oh yeah, our wedding day. Yeah, so... Uh, um, do you want me to put this up or down? I don't know what the difference is. Fair enough. We will both it up. Are you ready? Yeah, go on. Go for it, go for it! It's like losing an old friend. An old hairy friend. That's me, I'm an old hairy friend. I'm old and hairy. Ah! Uh, wow, that's 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 a lot just on that first. Oh my! I see Megan's taking photos. Are these going to be live updated to Facebook? Maybe. Ah. I haven't got my glasses on so I can't see. Nope. <laughs> That's a funny thing. Yeah. It's really hot under this poncho-y thing. One supposes you didn't actually have to wear a t-shirt. It's quite a um, covering poncho. Yeah, but have you ever had like this type of material next to your skin? No. It isn't pleasant. You get a poncho. Yeah, and it kind of sticks to you. Uh, I feel like Samson. I lost all my strength. You lost all your all your strength was in your hair, eh? Yeah. What? You're taking photos of this while you're supposed to be the one doing the barbering. I I'm close enough to do it. Oh, I thought Megan could do that. It's kind of looks like a criminal. Yeah, great. What do you mean I'm gonna look like a criminal? Please explain that, Megan. <laughs> We could totally have music going. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> we could have like the fun loving criminals on. Megan, find that the was fun. That's my attempt at a joke. Find the fun loving criminals and put them on. <laughs> Let's listen to some Scooby Snacks. Then I can sing. No, let's not sing. Lindsay has a terrible cold. She should not be singing at the minute because it sounds <laughs> awful. Now our rabbit, Gandalf, normally loves it when she sings. Because she sings S Club 7 for him. And he really likes that. I know you probably won't be able to hear this, but we've got uh, Fun Loving Criminals playing in the background.
actually I should probably say we can't play this because um, it's a rights protected bit of music <laughs> and I'm not paying for the rights for it so yeah yeah we'll uh, not play music because yeah I, I can't afford to pay for the rights for nobody it. heard that right nobody heard it <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm not rich enough to pay for music rights for bands like Fun and Criminals I'd say Lindsay could sing it, but um, again, I don't have the right. I don't have the money to pay for the rights for it. And B, Lindsay's not a good singer at the minute. So how are we doing? <laughs> Most of your hair is off. Most of my hair's off. Wow. Yeah, I'm gonna stop for a second and take a picture. Okay, cool. Yay! Oh wow, that's short. You're gonna be able to see the fact I'm going bald now. You asked for number one. This is true, this is true. It's worth reading the shade, remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm also going to shave my head completely, because let's face it, I would look like an egg. You know, and I've, I, I've gotten used to being a hairy person, so this is slightly, this is not a head hairy this way, person. Head please. Wow, well, I must have got hair at head, the back there. Head this way? No, no, what? no, no. no. What? Like this. What? Thank you. What are we doing? I'm taking pictures. Are I'm you making me look ridiculous? Yes. Oh, right. Is that the whole point of this? Yeah, this is true. Oh, there goes the sideburns. Bye bye, the burns. Oh, I should have just left the burns on, man. Yeah, we'll look wicked. Oh, wow. Well. We'll look like a proper Suffolk country bumpkin. <laughs> and I grew up in Suffolk, so I'm allowed to call people from Suffolk country bumpkins. Since you are one. I am not a country bumpkin from Suffolk. I just grew up in Suffolk, so there's a little bit of country pop in this. Oh, Megan, look, I could leave this and you could just have a little ponytail. No, oh, let's not. Let's, let's plait it. No. <laughs> that's it. We're not plaiting or putting bows in any ponytail that gets left on me, and we're not. I'm not going to have a ponytail. I'm not 45 and driving a Ferrari and uh, with a 21-year-old girlfriend who just after me for my money. Actually, that doesn't sound terrible. Really? I shouldn't say that while Lindsay is uh, shaving me hair. And plus, I don't have any money. Or a Ferrari. Or a Porsche. You can dream. Yeah, I'd rather have a motorbike. Motor Gucci, California. How does it feel? Lighter. I would imagine so. I can actually see clearly for the first time in a few weeks. Although, you know, not really because I've got my glasses on. You know, any time we could have styled your hair for you out of your eyes. Style? What's that? <laughs> you know, like, made it so it wasn't in your eyes but still the same way. How? What, using With what? Witchcraft? Hair products. What now? Hair gel. Uh, nah. You're talking foreign to us. Yeah, foreign. Not really. You may as well be speaking more Oh, Mongolian. wow, your skin's really dry there. You need to get some moisturiser on that. Sorry, what? Your hair, your skin is really dry. It needs moisture. I'll just go put some water on it then. Oh, my God. I'm a man. I don't do things like moisturiser. Uh, some men do, and that's very, very... Um, Old fashioned of me? Oh, yeah, I won't get into any rhetoric. No, please don't. Don't argue with the one who's shaving your head. Yeah. That's true. Just let me put some E45 on it later, okay? What now? Just, she wants some weird stuff on my face. It's healing cream for your skin. What? My skin's fine. It's not bleeding. It's not cut. <laughs> it's our eat. It's doing its job. It's covering my it's covering my body and keeping my organs intact. So why don't you tell everybody why you're doing this? Oh, it's for uh, cancer. Um, good thing. McMillan Cancer Support. This is a good point. Why should I? Do, why am I doing this? Well, uh, <coughs> to be perfectly honest, uh, cancer's kind of hit my family very, very hard. Um, when I was young, my um, my big nana um, had uh, lung cancer and um, she died. Now. I didn't know her very well, I wasn't very old, but it was kind of a horrible loss, and it was just awful, the, the, the feeling. I, I guess that's the first time I came to yeah, know the sort of horribleness of cancer. It was the first time I really heard the word, 
and over the past few years um, too many people I know have, um, have, have fallen victim to this disease um, one of my best friends growing up Lee Dunford um, had non-Hodgkin's lymphoma um, which is a very aggressive um, awful cancer and uh, unfortunately that did uh, he, he didn't didn't win that battle but um, uh, which is sad um, but his legacy lives on through uh, the work um, uh, my family and friends do for the Willow Foundation and um, the the and the Lee Stock Music Festival which uh, raises a lot of money for uh, Willow and is fantastic um, I'll put a link uh, to that uh, in the description um, and uh, my, my uh, nephew Dylan um, also suffered from leukemia uh, from about two years old um, and he had a long hard battle with that one um, he survived um, and that's fine and myself um, I had a manhood cancer um, shall we say um, very embarrassing um, and that had to get treated with some radiotherapy during the time uh, of my wedding about seven years ago and I am sort of in remission right now uh, not clear but yeah the, um, I've never had to rely on the work myself personally of Macmillan Cancer uh, support but again I know people who have had to do so um, and they do some wonderful work um, and it's, it's about supporting the relatives getting through this as well as the patients and so that's why I'm doing it Oh, and uh, Trish, Trish, my uh, Lee's aunt, also died of cancer. Um, again, horrible, horrible um, disease, and it really... Yeah, I'm going to... Oh, he's cutting his scissors. It's coming off. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, that, that's why I'm doing it, because cancer is a horrible disease. Um, and I'm doing it to honor the, the memory of Trish and Lee. Um... And of course, because it's impacted both myself and my nephew, as well as friends and family um, of other people as, uh, that I know as well. Uh, you know, I mean, one day, hopefully we'll get to a point where cancer isn't the killer it is. So anyway, back to shaving. Now I've got a lump in my throat. Strength. <laughs> Look at the back. Oh my. Look at your beards. This will be the shortest I've ever had facial hair. 87 years. Last time I had facial hair this short was when I got married. I intended to have a beard on my wedding day. My sister kind of just shaved it off anyway. Thanks, sis. As well as really hurting my hair when she cut it. I bet you thank Ashley for the free haircut. Oh yeah, thank Ashley for the free haircut on my wedding day and the uh, hair styling she gave Lindsay. Lindsay looked absolutely gorgeous. I think though, to be fair, we, she was using uh, the shearers that we had to replace these. They were rubbish. They were rubbish. Yeah, these shears are what, 20, 20 odd years old? Yeah, these are, the one, these are the ones your parents gave us and we went back to them because they're better. Take us, to, take us to the water because it's hot. <sighs> it's pleasant away. Thank goodness we don't need all the extra lights. like George Michael. Actually, it's always to be, you know. Uh, who's, who's a modern-day stubble 
I don't think he'll still be sexy. Uh, I'm just saying, who's the modern day stubble sexy man? You do realise that sexiness doesn't have any age, Michael. Yeah, I know, but who's the modern day sexy I still man? Find, I still find Patrick Stewart sexy. I'm talking about who the kids are going to relate to, you know. I want to be down with the kids, you know. You're not down with the kids, don't try. I can be down with the kids. You're not down with the kids, don't Innit? try. You know who you look like? Who? With just the moustache left? What? Oh, come on. China, yeah. I think China see it. Okay. That's who you look like. Well, when I've got the stubble, I'll be like David Beckham. No. You look nothing like David Beckham. Ugh. Sorry, bud. Oh. Uh, Hugh Jackman? Sorry, bud. And you just got that in your head because I've called you bub. Yeah, this is true. But he's got stubble when he does that, so, or, you know. Just because he's got stubble doesn't mean you look like him. Yeah, we're just leaving the stubble. Right, can it please at least assess the light? Tash is still to come, don't worry. Don't worry, I'm not leaving the tash, it looks weird. Does it? Doesn't, doesn't look weird. Is that the hair done? Wow. Oh my god, that is short. That is short. Are you taking the tash off then? Yes, we're taking the tash off. I don't want to look my me dad. Your dad hasn't had a tash in years. Yeah, he does. Your dad hasn't had a tash in years. Does he? I don't know. I always see him with a tash because he, he had one for like ever. I know, I always want to. In, in my head, your dad has a tash up as well, but he doesn't actually have a tash these days. Whoa. Half a tash. guys out there who like bears? I'm not disputing that, but... I take it you're not one of them. No, I... I'm I like bears. I'm not a guy, but I like bears. Yet you complain about hair up your nose. Because I like bears. Doesn't mean I like hair up my nose. Fair enough. Right. I think we're done. This means I won't get chatted up by cubs in the gay bars now. Aww. Okay, can I make glasses, so... Yeah, you can have your glasses. You can, uh, do that. And you can take a picture. Ah, okay, yeah, so, wow, uh... 
Oh wow, I feel lighter. Good luck. Well, I could, oh. You could wait to do this after the video, but no, no. Oh. Mm. ow! Whatever you fucked up my head, that just hurt. Okay, so uh, yeah. Whoa, it's just you know, comes like this. Crazy. That that that's my hair. Wow. Um, yeah, I feel shorter and lighter already. Um, do I look younger or? I just look different. Okay. <laughs> right. Younger. Maybe a year younger. Okay, year younger is better. Okay, so this is all in aid of Mumbling Cancer Support. Uh, yes, dear. Thank you for uh, watching. Um, and go donate. Um, the link will be in the description. Um, so donate. Um, help me push over the edge. I'm at £125 at the minute. I was hoping to get to 150 for today. I didn't, but. If you could help me get over that, um, get over that peak soon, that'd be fantastic. Um, thank you very much. It's all in for a good cause, and my head feels cold.